another day, another story of uh, cancellation by the authorities. So a few weeks ago, I was invited to give a presentation on our research on Bayesian networks for this NHS funded health and care analytics conference 2023, which you can see here, I scroll down, the co-chair is the eminent Ben Goldacre, and he's the author of the best-selling book, Bad Science. And you can see if I scroll further down, that this event is brought to you by the four NHS commissioning support units and designed by the lead strategy unit, etc. So anyway, I was invited to this and the uh, conference organizers were very happy to have me. They even put out this tweet saying they were excited to, uh, to have the brilliant Professor Norman Fenton share his expert knowledge on Bayesian networks and how they can improve your decision making. So yeah, this was all, all great. and. I was neither offered nor asked for any fee for doing this. I never do for this type of event. And in the last couple of weeks, I spent many hours preparing a presentation to, to ensure that it properly addressed the conference theme and included the latest examples of our Bayesian network risk models applied to a range of chronic diseases, namely diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and Alzheimer's. And you can see from the title and abstract well, there's the title. The title here is uh, just Bayesian networks, what they are and why they work when uh, big data methods fail. Well, here's the full title abstract and bio that were agreed. And if you look through here, there's, there's absolutely no mention of the work on our COVID data or COVID vaccines. So it's a general purpose talk targeted at anybody interested in quantifying and predicting risk. But the only mention of COVID was in my bio, which says since 2020, I've been active in analysing data related to COVID risk, which is true. So they had, they had all that. So yeah, all well and good. Then on Tuesday this week, which is the 20th of June, 2023, ironically, just seconds after recording a video for Michael Schellenberg's Censorship Files documentary, I received this email from the conference organisers. And I've redacted the name of the person who sent it and the other recipient. So I'm sorry to say that the conference organised committee have just been alerted to the controversy around vaccination on your Twitter account and fear this may distract from the conference. They have asked that we not proceed with a planned session on Bayesian networks. This is very unfortunate given your expertise in Bayesian networks. With sincere apologies. So basically, I was cancelled not for the content of my talk, but because I'd done other work raising concerns about vaccine safety. Now, after an immediate response that I sent on the 20th of June, stating that I did intend to make this public, and there was no response to that, I sent the following follow-up, more formal response at nine o'clock on the 21st of June. I'd like to know more about how the decision was made to cancel my presentation who initiated it and approved it. Was there any attempt by any NHS staff to reverse the decision, given that it's clear that my voice has been suppressed simply for raising safety concerns in the public interest? I'm asking this because it's become a matter of public interest to publish this story of censorship. I gave them 24 hours to reply. I also asked for a copy of all the communications referred to by return under the GDPR. After more than 24 hours passed, they, I didn't receive any reply or acknowledgement, so I posted this on Twitter and on our Substack. And three days on, I've still had no acknowledgement or response to my emails. Now, the key thing is, that as my colleague Martin Neal uh, noted on Twitter, that you know, by censoring me, that they're also censoring the research which was undertaken by young researchers in my group. That's the group before I left uh, Queen Mary and where Martin still works. And none of those people have uttered a word in public on the subject of vaccines. The research that I was going to be presenting was also was, was largely funded by the public purse. It was mainly research that came out of my very large collaborative project called Pan Bayesian, which was all about using Bayesian networks to improve decision making for chronic conditions. So basically, the event committee are denying the NHS access to research results funded by another arm of government. And the decision is not only unethical and irrational, it's deliberately vindictive. It would be helpful if people watching this video can contact the conference organisers and maybe even the chairman, Ben Goldacre.
because they clearly don't seem to re be replying to me. 